guys. All right, so I'm gonna go through a really fast kind of warm up I do for I, I train full body most of the time, but this is just gonna be for lower body. Uh, just some quick things that I like to do that aren't so conventional that a lot of people do. Um, a lot of this is derived from like uh, Quinn Hennock, uh, PRI kind of stuff, and I thought I'd just put my two cents into some things I've been playing with that I really like. So, this is a general, okay, warm-ups can be specific to you, so this may not be beneficial to you, but it's just an overall kind of a general thing. So, first, I like doing a 90-90 breathing. So, what that is, is you come up to a wall, you can put like a little pillow or like a, a little thing behind your head to lift your head up a little bit. Put a foam roller, a little ball between your legs like this. And what you do, 90-90 position. You breathe all the way out, bring these ribs down. You lift up your hips slightly. Hamstrings turn on. And you breathe in this position. You breathe out. Breathe in, keeping these ribs down. Opening, breathing all in your diaphragm and lifting your rib cage. Breathe all the way out. You can even get your arms in on it. You go. Can you breathe out? Some upper body as well. You do that a few times. So that's one. Okay? That's a 90 90 hip lift. Um, breathing drill. Next, what I like to do, follow me around, um, uh, the bretzel, I think it's called, which I like this a lot. Um, so what you do, put a foam roller down, bring a leg up to 90 degrees like this, put your arm down on here, okay, leg is try to get above 90 degrees, hold it with this leg, you're here, bring your leg up like this. You breathe in, you breathe out, you turn. Hold that, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. You keep repeating that. And that will like, oh man, that really is good for your upper back. Um, because your lower back is staying in neutral. So. Like you're you're being safe, you're safe here. You're not like rounding your lower back. You're 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 blocking it off with your leg here. You're holding it down. You bring your leg up here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, that's another one. Okay, next. I like doing uh, SOAS March. Let me see. Uh, fans are over here. Uh, this is another one to kind of get um, your hips kind of in place. Uh, to get your SOAS and stuff and your hip flexors kind of turned on um, correctly, kind of in balance. So what this is, you put a, a band between your legs like this. What you do, you bring one leg up. You want to bring them past 90 degrees. You breathe in. You breathe out, you're bringing these ribs down again like you did on the wall for the 90-90 hip lift. You push your leg out like that while you're breathing out. Breathe in, switch legs, breathe out. Breathe in, make sure your hips are square. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And you don't want to be going too high with this, like that. You don't want to be letting your arch, your back arch. So make sure these ribs are down, your back sliding against the ground. And keep this leg above 90 degrees. Next. Um, I like doing some kind of, like, um, side clams. So what you can do with this, I want to back up, go back over there. Um, I like putting a, a band between my legs like this. You go up against the wall. You can do this on both sides, or you can do it on one side. You're here, about 90 degrees again. You're here. You breathe out. You lift this leg up. You breathe in that position. 
Repeat. Breathe in. Breathe out. You hold it. You should really feel it on the outside of your hip here. That'll really fire up like your glute, glute medius, glute minimus. You can go straight from that. You can go into. You can do this on the other side as well. I'm not going to show it though, just for the sake of the video. You can go into a single leg glute bridge right from that while keeping the band on your knee. So you're here. Hips are square. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can come up like that. Squeeze. Now you remember these are like warming up drills. You're not trying to break PRs doing this. So you're here. This is resisting your leg going out. So you have tension here. Again, you can do that on the other side. Um, one more I want to do on the side as well. I like to do this another one. Like I said, these are just general things, guys. Take some, you know, leave some, whatever you want to do. Um, you don't need to do all these. These are just some ideas. Um, this is another kind of positional to kind of get your adductor working um, on, the, on the on the top leg. So again, if you want this side to work, you'd flip around and do the other way. But put a foam roller or something between your legs like this. What you do, make sure these hips are stacked. Okay, so you turned. Make sure this shoulder's down. You breathe in. And what you're doing then, you breathe in. You're trying to push this top leg backwards into the socket, essentially. So back. And when you exhale, you squeeze your knees together. You bring this leg down. You should feel it inside this adductor and on the outside of your hip. So you breathe in, and then you squeeze down. You're not rolling your whole pelvis. You're just trying to think about pushing like a scissoring action like that. But you keep holding that. So you breathe in, and you squeeze down while you breathe out. Doesn't look like you're really doing anything, but adductor and side is on fire. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, let me think. Uh, one more that I like to do. Maybe two more. We'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, I like doing a 90-90 position as well. So you're here like this. Come here. 90-90. It's a quadruped breathing. So what you do is you breathe in. You lean slightly forward like this. Okay. You're not letting your shoulders ride up, so keeping down, you should feel kind of tension under here in your serratus. When you're here, you breathe in. When you breathe out, you kind of push against the floor, kind of tuck, kind of posteriorly tilt a little bit your pelvis, lift your sternum towards the ceiling while you're breathing out. You hold that position. You breathe in deep. I'm trying to get the top, your middle back, middle of your back towards the ceiling, your sternum towards the ceiling, you're trying to dome, you're trying to breathe in that domed position, breathe in, breathe out, all the way, breathe in, breathe out, all the way, breathe in, Okay, um, another one really quick, you can go right in here, if you do it, this is a 90-90, where um, you do hip extra rotation here and hip um, extension here, so you're in this position, where you go like this, try to stay square, turn, try to keep this hip down, try to rotate your body this way, you keep switching to hold them, you just kind of feel it out. You can switch and go from this way. Try to stay tall. And go back. Like that. Um, last one. I like doing some kind of hip swings too then, so then I'd get up and just go against like a wall or a pole or something. And I like doing leg swings sideways 
So keeping um, hips square, turn like this, you do this, and do the other leg. And I even like doing them forward as well, both legs. Obviously this is short because of the video. Last thing, I like doing some kind of squat so you can take like a, a kettlebell or a dumbbell and just do a counterbalance um, goblet squats so you're here. And there you go, you should be ready to go. So that's uh, a little bit different. Obviously if there's things that are tight, you can roll on the cross balls on your quads, you know, a foam roller. Um, you know, you can do some band distraction work. As you can see, I have bands here. You can, um, you know, if like your hip, you can do things where you can get your band. You can do different things to kind of get your hip. You can do like different work like, like that for your hip. Or even do it if your ankles are feeling tight. You can obviously bring the band down and do the ankle mob where you come forward and you let your ankle go back. So those are just some ideas guys. Obviously I know it was kind of all over the place but um, that's usually what I generally do for my warm up. I kind of go through that sequence. It may not be in that order. Uh, I may not do it both for both sides but um, I'll just give you some ideas for a different kind of warm up you could do. So if you made it through this whole video, congratulations. You win a prize. Talk to you next time.